Hello, kids. Space Pro Planetarium welcomes you to this show on the lunar cycle. Have you ever seen the moon on a clear night sky? If you've observed the moon carefully, you would have seen that it doesn't look the same on all nights. On some nights, the moon is big and round, and on others, it is a thin slice of light in the sky. Have you ever wondered why the moon looks different every night? You will be surprised to know that the way our moon looks to us is not as much about the moon as it is about the sun and the earth. Strange, isn't it? Let's understand how. The moon always has a spherical shape like a basketball, but it doesn't always look that way to us. We always see exactly half of the moon. Some of the time, that half is lit by the sun and we see it. At other times, it isn't lit by the sun at all and we can't see it. Most of the time, the part of the moon that we see is partially lit by the sun and partially shadowed. The moon looks different to us depending on where it is in orbit. Remember, the moon revolves around the Earth once every 29 days, in other words, once a month. As the moon moves around our Earth, we see a different part of it lit by the sun. When the moon is on one side of the Earth and the sun is on the other, we see one half of the moon that is bright with sunlight. This moon is called the full moon because we see a full round circle. Each of the positions of the moon in orbit has a name. Let's look at what they are. When less than half of the moon is lit by the sun, it is called a crescent. When more than half of the moon is lit by the sun, it is called a gibbous. Waxing gibbous indicates the part of the moon that is lit and growing, whereas waning gibbous is the part of the moon that is lit and shrinking. Based on what we just learned, let's look at the different phases of the moon. There are eight phases in all. We'll now explore each phase of the moon. The lunar cycle begins with the new moon phase, when the moon is not visible from the Earth. This is because the half of the moon that faces away from the Earth is lit, and we only see the dark half. During the waxing crescent phase, we begin to see a very small part of the moon lit by the sun, but most of it is still shadowed. In the first quarter phase, only one half of the moon is visible from the Earth. This is because the right half of the moon appears lit, and the left side of the moon is still shadowed. In the waxing gibbous phase, more than half of the moon appears lit by the sun. When you see a waxing gibbous moon, you know that a full moon is just a few days away. During the full moon phase, the moon is on one side of the Earth and the sun is on the other. The sun illuminates the half of the moon that faces the Earth directly, and the moon looks like a full round circle. In the waning gibbous phase, the other half of the moon is lit by the sun and we see it looking like a little less than a whole circle. The waning gibbous moon looks like it is shrinking, doesn't it? But it's not. In the third quarter phase, the left half of the moon appears lit and the right side of the moon appears dark. During the waning crescent phase, the moon looks like a crescent. This moon signals the beginning of a new cycle and means that you will see the new moon in a few days. Here is a quick quiz on the lunar cycle. You need to identify the phases of the lunar cycle based on pictures of the moon you see on screen.
Let's now try another quiz. Drag the correct picture of the moon to each phase and then click Submit. That completes our show. You will now be able to recognize all the phases of the moon. If you are interested in space and planets, you might want to try this special project on your own. Jot down the idea if you want to give it a try. You need a notebook paper or a calendar if you have one, a pencil and a clear night sky to observe. On the paper, write the date and a brief description of the moon you see. Then, draw a picture of the moon you see. Always start with a round circle and use your pencil to shade in the part that is shadowed and lit by the sun. Then, see what you find out. If you do this for 29 days, you will have witnessed an entire lunar cycle, start to finish. Good luck!